So in this video, I want to answer the question, is intermittent fasting really that different for women compared to men? A lot of times I'll get this question, um, you know, I'm female, should I be doing intermittent fasting? I heard it was unhealthy, it's going to mess up my hormones. So, so let's just take a look a little bit deeper into that topic. What's the difference between a man and a woman is that uh, women have a more complete reproductive system, okay? Uh, so they have more estrogen, they, their bodies can make another body, and that's all tied in with survival. And when you go into this topic of starvation, that is anti-survival, right? It lowers your survival. Starving actually decreases your lifespan. So that's going to create a lot of problems with the endocrine system, uh, hormones, etc. But here's what I want to differentiate. We got starvation, we got fasting, and a low-calorie diet. When you do a low-calorie diet, you're actually cutting down the food that you're eating, and usually you're creating nutritional deficiencies. All right. When you're doing fasting, you've created an adaptation to running your body off fat. The meals that are recommended should not be low calorie meals if you're doing it healthily because we want to provide for all of your nutrients. So overall, you are cutting calories because you're not eating so frequently, but in that actual meal, you are satisfying your nutrients. Now, when you're starving, you're creating nutritional deficiencies all over the place, okay? And you pretty much tapped out your fat. Now you're running off muscle protein and you're, you're hungry all the time, right? You're extremely hungry. It's called starvation. When you're fasting, you're not hungry. It's a low stress situation. In fact, you, you feel really good. You feel euphoric. And hopefully you have nutritional reserves um, based on what you ate in the past. And if not, you need to enhance that with supplements. But in a low calorie diet, you're usually craving carbs. You're hungry all the time. Your body's telling you to eat. And I really think the confusion is not really defining uh, a healthy version of intermittent fasting, okay? Because if you just cut your calories, you are going to create stress within the endocrine system. You're going to be hungry all the time. You're going to be craving. Um, and that's going to create an issue. And also when you're doing like the pattern of so-called intermittent fasting where it's like five and two, like you eat what you want for five days. And then for two days, you basically cut your calories down. That's not the definition of intermittent fasting. That is going to create a problem on the reproductive system because you only have two days there to adapt and that's just not long enough. And plus all the other days, you're probably eating foods that you shouldn't be eating. So if you're doing intermittent fasting healthily, okay, and you're doing it gradually so your body can adapt and you're making sure that the meals are nutrient dense, um, it, it's going to enhance your reproductive system. It's not going to create a problem. All right. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, real quick, I have a new healthy keto eating plan for you. Just go to drberg.com. It's right on the front page. I put a link down below. Download it. It's free. Check it out.